Um, I am here officially in my capacity uh, representing the Mozambique also joined. I'm here in my capacity representing an organization called UCA, United Kingdoms of Africa. I'm here also in my capacity uh, uh, representing AIM, African Indigenous Movement. I'm here as a founder and driver of Farmers of Thought, which is an organization that you all know, which is a thinking institution for the greater part of uh, the African educational space. I'm also here in my official capacity uh, representing ZIM, Zimbabwe Indigenous Movement, which is a movement specifically looking at transformation of the greater uh, Zimbabwean people. I'm also here in my full capacity as a spokesperson of the Embo Kingdom under the, under the governorship and under the kingship of uh, King Bungani. And above everything else, I'm also here as a citizen of the greater African Alkeblam people. I am quite disturbed to be making this uh, announcement this morning. And the announcement is in line with the mischief that is happening at Africa Union. Uh, under the leadership of uh, Farke, uh, the chairperson of the Africa Union, who has been there now for the past four years, and he is asking for an extension for another four years. But in the four years that he has been in power, we have not seen anything that we can write home about. Firstly, we want to outline and make it clear that under the watchful eye of Farke at Africa Union, who happens to be a Francophone himself from the French colonies, uh, the exclusion of Dr. Chihombori uh, from running for chairperson of the Africa Union will not keep us silent. We need to raise our voices. And for the first time, we're not only happy that a woman uh, was actually running for the office, but we are not even electing on the basis of gender. We are electing and making an announcement on the basis of, of power, on the basis of interest. And uh, as, as, as a nation, the African nation, I think we have it in our hands to also be given the power to elect who we want to assist to drive the Africa Union. And under the auspices of Farke at Africa Union, we have seen the French colonies, 14 of them, continuously being ripped and raped by France under the watchful eye of Farke, who supervised the pro project with such precision to make sure that more than 500 billion dollars a year was moved out of African countries into France under his watchful eye as a watchdog for the French government African countries have continuously suffered paying taxes as it were taxes of colonialism to France. This is how it happens. When you are getting independent, you must sign a document that allows the continuity of, of colonialism, but under a financial arrangement. That you need all your reserves as a country, as a sovereign country. You need to make sure that all your reserves are in the French government. And they're not only in the French bank, but when you want your money back, you can only get 20% of it at interest rates, which are competitive for the world. Now, where in the world do you see that you take your own reserves as African countries, you give them to a French country, and when you want your money, you are taking it back to yourself as a loan. You can make your own calculations and see how this injustice has been happening on the African continent under the watchful eye of Farke. Farke must go. You will not get another extension in that office. Farke, step down. Farke, take an early retirement and stop the mischief. We also hear that under your supervision, your brother-in-law, your brother-in-law is now the ambassador in Europe, your own brother-in-law. Is it possible, therefore, that you have converted Africa Union into a personal private business? Under your watchful eye, Honorable Farke, we hear that the Africa Union offices 
are actually bugged by the Chinese and that all the servers of Africa Union are being supervised by the Chinese. You are selling African information to the Chinese under your own supervision. Under your supervision, Honorable Farke, wars in Africa have constantly raged. To none of your conversation, we have never seen you, Honorable Farke, making a statement on anything. We saw black people dying in America. You are silent. Poverty is raging on the continent. You are silent. War is going on. You are silent. Sitting around the 18th floor of the Africa Union and making sure that your pocket constantly gets deeper and deeper. I want to make a comment this morning that challenges your position. We know how Africa Union has been designed and that only presidents of countries are the ones who are going to be voting for the person they want to become the chairperson. But we know that our African presidents have not stood up to the task, have not been of benefit to us. I challenge the Africa Union immediately to put a system in place and allow the common people on the African continent to vote. Not even by ballot, we can vote by internet. We have these softwares now. There is no reason why we can constantly pontificate the Africa Union offices as a brother of African politics, where the Europeans are coming to do as they please on the African continent, under your supervision, Honorable Farke. To make it worse, when a woman runs for the chairmanship, when a woman runs for the chairmanship of the same office, you find it convenient in your own space, using your own discretion, using your own power politics, you exclude Dr. Chiombori from running for chairmanship of the Africa Union. We want a fully written report as to why you are excluding her from these elections. And we are saying as Africans, we are saying as UCA, we are saying as AIM, we are saying as ZIM, we are saying as Farmers of Thought, we are saying as EMBO, and we are saying as Africans that enough is enough. You step down and it is time that we allow a different breed of leadership. To come into power. I challenge Honorable Ramaphosa. I challenge Honorable Mnangagwa. I challenge all the Honorable Presidents of the African continent. Don't fall asleep on the job. When you have an opportunity to effect change, stop compromising the African continent on the basis of friendships. Farke is not a friend to the Africans. He is a friend to the French. And for that reason, he must be allowed to take the money that is accumulated through Africa Union and go and retire himself in France. For that's what he is interested in doing in terms of maintaining his pocket and constantly making sure that his friends in the European space constantly see him as a good boy. A good boy who supervises African projects on behalf of the Europeans. So we want to make a statement this afternoon that Honorable Chombori will run for Africa Union. Honorable Chombori will run for Africa Union. And if we are allowed to vote as Africans, allow us to make our voices heard and let us put a person to champion the African agenda to the best of our abilities. We know Honorable, Honorable Lumumba decided a few days later on that he would not run. And who else can we put if there are names out there of people that we think can actually have the interests of the Africans at heart. I think it is high time that we begin to speak and speak correctly. We cannot have vipers and snakes managing our projects. We cannot have watchdogs of European interests sitting on the highest office of Africa as a president, as a chairperson of Africa Union. And under your supervision, you have not even established one factory that can produce toothpicks. Under your supervision, you have constantly made sure that the pangs and the fangs of European power and grip are maintained on the Africans. Under your supervision, the Chinese are breaking into our, coloni our, our colonies and breaking into our countries. And under your supervision, you want to tell me that you want to stop a woman from running for office because you want an extension.
You want another four years in office, another four years of appointing cousins and brothers-in-laws, another four years of giving Chinese an unlimited check access, another four years of allowing the French to abuse Africans, another four years of you sitting in your office and running Africa Union like it is your personal private business. And I think this, this honeymoon, Honorable Farke, this honeymoon comes to a stop. Go home tonight, start packing your bags, and start sleeping correctly. I'm making a declaration, I'm making a call to all African presidents, for the first time in your lives as African presidents, please, 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 stop bribing us. We've seen enough of Farke, we don't want him in office with his cronies with his cronies. The whole group of Africa Union must take a walk. We want leadership in Africa Union that can begin to, di to, di to discuss the value, discuss the direction of Africa as a United Kingdom. We want to put people in power who will understand the agenda for the Africans, not who have memorized the agenda for the French people. It will not happen that while we are here, as Africans, we play around some technicalities of diplomacy and exclude each other from positions of influence because we're being influenced by the Europeans. Honorable Farke, Honorable Farke, with all due respect, you have had your tenure, you have had your time. Please pack up your boxes, pack up your bags, leave that office. We will elect our own people. We'll take our young men and push them up into office, who will train them, who will groom them, who will cut off their rough edges and place them in positions of power. You cannot be telling us that you are planning a future for Africa and you will not be part of that future. You will have long died by then. Allow those with an idea, allow those with an agenda, allow those with vision to drive the Africa Union. And I recommend, I recommend Chihombori, Dr. Chihombori, to take office at Africa Union. Let her implement the strategy, at least she has a strategy of what she thinks Africa can become. Your strategy is to maintain French power and the time for French colonization is finished. With those few words, we wish you a safe trip we wish you a safe retirement in France. Please take the money that you have collected under Africa Union. Take the money that you have made. Collect a nice little bribe with your brothers-in-law in France and enjoy yourselves. But allow the African people to begin to have their own conversation and we can change our own narrative. With those few words, I say aluta, continua, viva, viva, chuhombori, viva. Viva, Dr. Chombori, viva. We are not saying she must be given a free passport into office, but allow the African people to choose their own election. If right now we can put up a, a petition, a petition to sign up Chombori as chairperson of Africa Union, and you wanted to consider our petition as authoritative, we can fly that petition. Dr. Arikana will win the elections with arms down. We don't even need, we don't even need to remind you that if you should find yourself in conversation with her, that you will lose those elections. And you are not losing because you are a man. You are not losing because you are French. You are not losing. You are losing because you don't have an agenda. You don't have passion for Africa. Up to now, I've, I've never seen you making any statement to anything that is of value. Only good at taking pictures, standing with other presidents and stuff like that. But your voice, your purpose, and your vision is unknown to yourself and to us as common people. With those words, we say, Viva Dr. Arikana, Viva Dr. Chombori, Viva! We want, for the first time, we also want a woman to run that office, at least a woman with a purpose and direction. And with those few words, we want to send this message loud and clear to your French president friends. Tell them the honeymoon has been cut short. Tell your European friends the honeymoon has been cut short. Tell your African president friends that you had promised things 
the honeymoon has been cut short. Start packing your bags, Honorable Farke. You will not get another term in that office. It's high time we put people who have influence, who have passion, who have direction, who have vision for the greater African people. With those few words, I wish you very wonderful idea. Uh, Dr. Lumumba had been given the, 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 the suggestion to run for elections but he later on stepped down for interests uh, that we, we are not yet known. I'm still looking for him to talk to him and uh, tell him that maybe I'm not as happy when I heard the news from high authorities that he had turned down the offer. I was actually saddened because I thought he would actually run for that office. With those words in mind, take the video, send it everywhere, everywhere. But for today, our password, AU Chairman, Dr. Arikana Chihombori for Africa Union. Africa Union Chairperson, Dr. Arikana. We know why the French people don't want her there. We know why the Europeans don't want her there. We know why some of the Americans don't want her there. And they don't want her because she has an agenda for the African people. The least you can do and the best you can do for this video is to share this video, share this video, cut and paste, let the message be heard. But as we are talking to you right now, we know in Africa Union building, this message is being heard. As we are talking right now, we are cleaning up the 18th floor. We are cleaning up the 17th floor. We are cleaning up those two floors at Africa Union. And we want to put fresh blood, fresh ideas, fresh visions. Send this video everywhere. Yours truly, Maponga J. Chigaramboko from the Greater Associate Dynasty. Down South, Embo Kingdom, Farmers of Thought. Uka, United Kingdoms of Africa. AIM, African Indigenous Movement. And ultimately, Zim, Zimbabwe Indigenous Movement. We will not sit around and watch injustice happening. It's high time Africans begin to take their own future, destiny, into their own hands. And some of our greatest weaknesses on African political terrain are African leaders who are criminals, who are thugs, who are thieves, puppets of European systems. And they get into power to deepen their pockets continue to loot African mind, African resources. We say enough is enough. Pack your bags, Farke. Pack your bags, Farke. Go home. And we know we don't know where your home is because your village still does not have fresh water while you are busy siphoning 500 billion a year to the French government. I wonder how you sleep at night. Shukran.